Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO art set review. Today we are looking at the brand new set, set number 31205. This is Jim Lee's DC Collection. It is an 18 plus set that has 4,167 pieces retailing for $119.99 USD or $149.99 Canadian. This set will be available beginning on March the 1st, which you can still pre-order. I think that there's a delay on it. Uh, it won't arrive on March the 1st, but you'll get it pretty soon afterwards. And this was actually sent to me by Lego and Land to do a review for. And I'm so grateful because it saves me the cost of having to buy one of, like, I, in my mind, I'm at least at six different ones that I want to get, and I really love Batman, you know that, the channel is called Ash and Flash, I have a connection to DC more than I do with Marvel, the channel wouldn't exist without Batman, like, it just, it would not exist without the man you see in front of you, and I think that as an artist, there is just such an appreciation to this that I have beyond, I think, the other ones. And yeah, you know, a lot of the other art sets, they're really good. I, I love a lot of them, for sure. I realized why this one in particular, in my opinion, is the greatest art set that LEGO has ever produced. And it's the black lines. They add so much to this. You could see here just like the shaping of even like the cowl and how the black just it highlights everything so well. Like even here on this trim here on the side, you could see against the background how much it stands out. On this side here, like there's a lot of lighting going on, but here you've got like the light shining and you've got dark blue as the outline because it's a little bit lighter on this side and it gets darker as it goes over to the right. But just the coloring here is insane. I think the only thing that personally I would have changed would have been less of like this really, really bright. I, I don't think that really works. Um, the sort of medical aqua. I don't know if that really works there on the side of the cowl. But like the mouth, from looking at it from afar, I, I think it's crazy how they accomplish doing that with all these different colors. Not a single one of these studs are the regular flesh color. So that is so crazy to me. I am blown away by this. Like, this is so cool. So obviously making the Batman one is the main priority. And in the past when I've done reviews for the arts, I've disassembled and reassembled them all to show you the different versions. This time around, I'm not doing that because I am actually assembling them for myself. So you can see this one has the frame and this one does not. I actually ordered a lot of the parts on bricks and pieces to actually go ahead and actually get all the different plates because they're on these big 16 by 16 plates, making it 48 by 48. I bought all the plates separately and what I did was I actually used all of the leftover parts that I have from uh, this set, the Batman set, the Hogwarts set, as well as the other four Iron Mans that I had left over, just any other studs that I had lying around. So this is the Joker. It's incomplete. You can see where there's a lot of different like studs and things missing, but you get the shape of it. And you can see here on screen now the actual Joker art and how great that looks when it's complete. But I love this thing. The only thing that I'll say about this one and the next one with Harley is I think when it comes to like the lips and even a bit of the eyes, the reddish brown just doesn't work. And I get like, you'll see all the colors here. There's actually 16 different colors that you're using throughout the three builds and there's even more. Uh, but anyways, when it came to this, I just think like dark red would improve that so, so much. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. So you just have to stay tuned for that next video. Um, when I do that. Now, like I just said, there's also, of course, there's the Harley build. And this is my Harley. And unfortunately, of course, love Joker, favorite villain. You know, I used all the extra parts that I had to go into that. And Harley here, she's definitely incomplete. I actually ran out completely of the aqua that I was talking about before that's on the Batman cowl, and I don't have a lot of the light blue, so I have to go out and get that. I do have another Batman art set coming, and I'll probably pick up some more, because I have ideas that I want to do, like Two-Face, and I want to do Mr. Freeze. I think the other one 
it's probably going to be Catwoman, but then, like, I want to do Riddler, and, you know, you can't just stop there, then I maybe will do Penguin, and then you can't do, you just stop there, like, I have, I want to do so many different things, and I've been looking at, like, Jim Lee's art and different uh, things that he's created, and I'm trying to, like, merge the two, having it be the same art style, using his existing art, so, yeah, stay tuned for all that. And here is the instruction manual for the set, and this actually gave me a lot of insight in how I'm going to make the other art. You could see here uh, how it would look like in your living room hung up, and if you want to stop and pause, you could read the different paragraphs here talking about uh, the actual artwork and things like that, illustrated by Jim Lee and Alex Sinclair. So this is what it was all based off of, and we'll get to these two in a bit. But this is the process. So he starts off with a sketch and then he adds in like the different shades and then adds in the color. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. And he's got the lightning going on in the back. Over here, you can see the finished product there. So I think that is really, really cool. And then you've also got just some of the references here, which actually is really fascinating because technically speaking, this is the first time that Hush is ever featured in an official Lego product besides the Lego Batman video game. So that's really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, you could see just some of the extra things included here. You've got the new key from the new like Disney books that allows you to like lock things. I think it also appears in the Harry Potter set, but you see they're also included is this and you've got all the 16 different colors because as you go through you'll see is there anything else you could pause to read that you can listen to a podcast as you go through the little soundtrack you've got the tile with jim lee's signature that says dc collection that you can choose to put in your art depending on if you want to do that of course the big piece remover but as you go through just to show you how it actually works, you've got all the different colors there as well as this for like a reference because the actual instructions, you know, it's a little different than what you're going to see these in real life. As I continue through to the final panel, you can see there's actually an option here to put the tile and all that is actually to scale or you could have the studs there. Is In the back, it actually shows two other pieces of artwork. This one requires you to have two here and it actually lets you build Catwoman and Batman with a beautiful skyline of Gotham City, as well as a one by three one there when you buy three of the Batman ones. Now for me, I wanna go and I kinda wanna make like something similar to that Catwoman to go alongside with these. There you have it everyone, that is my long review of a set that's really simple, but I have a lot to say about this. I think it's my absolute favorite one, and I have so many plans to expand this Jim Lee collection using his artwork, so stay tuned for that. So thank you so much to Lego and Land for sending this to me. Genuinely, I think one of my favorite, if not my favorite set so far of 2022 just because it is Batman, it's art, and it's just like, I can't wait to decorate my room and figure things out, because this is just such an incredible set. It is the best art set, and it's because of the black lines, which kind of makes me want to go back and do that to Iron Man, but I don't know if I have the time or patience to kind of change that up and figure it out, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set. What do you think of it? Let me know. Have you already made pre-ordered? Are you going to pick it up? Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.